Well, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I have been up, got my little walk in this morning and listened to my audio book, which was pleasant. Rather enjoying the Heaven and Earth grocery store. Let me know if you've read it. I'm, I've been listening to it on Audible. It's a good read and a good listen. I think I mentioned this in last weekend's vlog, but the um, Vanity Cream Antiperspirant, I don't know, fingers crossed that they haven't discontinued it. But I've been using this Certain Dry. Funny enough, it's actually fragrance free, which it's really hard to find a fragrance free antiperspirant. There's Vanity Cream, which, you know, is out to launch, can't find it. There is the Alme Sensitive, which is like a gel. And then there's this. Uh, this is great. It, it works really well. If you like a roll-on, something about the roll-on formula to me just reminds me of the 80s. Anyone else? I don't know. I feel like, I feel like this, yeah, <laughs> this was like a lot more popular back then. Now it's all like the sticks and sprays. I don't strictly use fragrance-free antiperspirants, but the thing about antiperspirants that do have fragrance, they do put quite a lot in there. And it's actually a common cause of contact dermatitis under the arms, the, the fragrance. Plus the aluminum and antiperspirants can be irritating for some people. If I'm going for an antiperspirant with fragrance, I mean, go big or go home, right? This is the best scented one. It's uh, Dove's Advanced Care with a quart moisturizer. They always gotta put that a quart of moisturizer. Just stop with that, okay? Just stop, Dub. You are about the sense these days. You have you have transformed into something else. You are no longer uh, so good. This is really nice. I mean, it's a sophisticated scent. It's not just like a ooh body wash. You know what I mean? It's nice. Um, I really like it. It smells even better on. Um, it's really nice. Dove Dry Spray Beauty Finish. Yeah, I really liked this. Um, but if you're allergic to fragrance, uh, 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 not for you. Um, but this one, give it a try. It gets the job done. I mean, if you want to help cut down on sweat, put it on at night. Okay, put it on at night. Got it on the Amazonian. I've never seen this in stores, but apparently it's the number one doctor recommended. Um, so there you go. Anyway, time to rock. <laughs> I just, I just punched myself there. Time to wash Peter Thomas Roth off. Coming in with the isn't tree. So I've just been doing one pump of this. I find if I do two pumps, it's a little bit too much. I like to really get in there with the finger pad so I can really feel it spread on the skin. If you do it this way, instead of patting it in with your palms, you can really feel how the product is actually going on this, you know, you have better control over where you're putting it. It's easier to spread on the skin if you actually use your finger pads as opposed to patting it in. You, you have a better feel of where you, you're putting stuff. And voila, it's absorbed. Then for a little moisture and smooth action here. Yeah, when it comes to applying skincare, I'm all about the paint it on with your finger pad technique as opposed to Pad. You have a lot more like sensory nerve endings in your finger pads, so you really have a, a good sense of like where you're putting stuff. And you can kind of massage it a little better. And this product I like to use around my eyes too. In this, this Cetaphil Healthy Renew line, they have an eye gel that's actually a really good um, eyeshadow primer. Then let's come in with the Madagascar Centilla for my sunscreen of the day. Okay, I'm gonna put a little of this Cosrx, oops, as I dropped the lid, Cosrx Lip Sleep Mask on. Cause I'm gonna go sip on my coffee. This has lasted a long time. I use this pretty much every day. All right, it's time to crack into a new bag of coffee and I ordered these on iHerb because they just looked too fun. Uh, Mudslide Boogie from Bones Coffee Company and Frog's Breath Chocolate Mole. I have to admit, I was largely drawn in by the packaging. A cunning concoction of coffee, chocolate, and spice. Smooth and flavorful with a balanced and spicy finish. And we have a pull tab, so no glue to mess around with. I like that. Woo! 
Oh, wow. That is actually very chocolatey. I, I hope this doesn't disappoint. I don't usually do flavored coffees, but it smells so good. Like chocolate and cinnamon. All right. All right, six minutes, only time will tell. It's interesting, it's an easy plunge. Something about these grounds, they really did not all clump together. Smells good, it smells like cinnamon. Okay, update, this is the worst coffee. Do not buy this. It is actually making me somewhat nauseous. It is not good. Not my cup of joe. I know you're jealous of the glam getup, you know? Um, I've got my house coat on and I'm ready. I'm ready to rock the runway. I sit down and think to myself, I'm just gonna crank out a quick video. It'll be a real easy one and done thing. I sit down, proceed to run my mouth on camera for an hour and a half. What can I say? I love talking about skin. Sitting down to do some editing, had to make a new cup of coffee because that cinnamon toast, whatever, the cinnamon is way too overpowering. Fortunately, I had one of the Four Sigmatic instant coffees, which is saving me right now. Those instant coffees are pretty good. All right, let me get to editing this monstrosity. All right, I pulled myself together, got dressed. I'm gonna go run some errands. This is my little outfit I put together. This is a denim jacket that I get so much use out of. I bought this three or four years ago from Amazon. It's Lee. Um, it's very versatile. Brown rib shirt from Walmart. Uh, <coughs> joggers from Halara. And I got these cute sneakers from Wally World. They were like under $25. They're really comfortable. They have really good arch support. They're super comfortable. Update on that mascara from Winky Lux. Still loving it. So I use their primer and it really helps the mascara not only stay on better, but it gives like a nice long base before you actually apply the mascara. And then that little tiny detail mascara I use on the bottom lashes and it gives that, you can't really tell, it gives what I call that Christy Turlington lash. You know that photo of her where she's got those big eyelashes, but they're really noticeable on the bottom. I always think that looks really good, but it's hard to pull off. Most mascaras just end up getting really clumpy, but that little fine one, it gives some length. It doesn't quite get that look, but it's a starting point. Anyway, that's what I'm wearing to go run some errands. Oh, you guys, my hair. I did the Elasti mask last night, the L'Oreal Paris, L'Oreal Paris Pure something something. That hair mask, is so good. I adore it, highly, highly recommend it. Um, I do it a couple of nights a week. Anytime I do it, the following morning, it's like my hair is really shiny, manageable, smooth, silky, all of the good things. Well guys, guess where we are? Yes, I'm back at the library. What can I say? 2024, I've been on a good reading kick. now. Y'all, last weekend I got this book and I finished it. The Secret Wisdom of the Earth. Yes, I told you Demon Copperhead was a page turner. This is a page turner. That being said, I preferred Demon Copperhead to this. Demon Copperhead was, I liked much better. But this book is more of, there's a lot more suspense that keeps you turning pages with this. It takes place in Kentucky. It's a really good story. That being said, it's a little bit, not just a little bit, it's over the top as far as, yeah, right. You find yourself going, are you serious? Uh, really, really? It's a bit of a stretch. However, it's good. This was really good. I I devoured this. It was so good. I really enjoyed it. 
Um, also, I mentioned this last weekend. I had finished the uh, Four Winds from Kristen Hanna. I need to return that, so that's why we're here as well. This was good. I really enjoyed the Great Depression side of this. So, who knows what we'll find at the library, but hopefully I find something quickly because they're going to close in like 45 minutes, which sounds like ample time, but 45 minutes in a library is like 4.5 minutes of real time. It will, it will go by pretty quickly. But yeah, I have been on a good reading kick and I'm still listening to the Heaven and Earth grocery store and I'm really enjoying that. I think I mentioned that this morning when we were doing my skincare routine, you and I. It, it's good. Audiobooks are slower going for me because I don't, you know, I have to be in the right position to listen to them. Even in the car, I'm one of those people where if the driving situation is complicated, I'll lower the volume. What that accomplishes, I don't know, but I do end up tuning out of audiobooks when I'm driving, so I have to be careful. But all that to say, I, I've been making my way through that as well. So something that I enjoy doing, the way I've, what I've been, the little habit I've been on lately, I go for a walk in the morning on the treadmill just to get the blood flowing, and that's when I read. I read and walk on the treadmill. And so it, you know, helps me stay consistent with my reading. Plus these books that I've been reading lately have just been enthralling. All right, let's head on in. Hopefully, it's, it's really crowded here today. I don't know that I'm gonna film much in the library, but when I come out, I'll share with you guys what I got because we all know I can't go in there and come out empty handed. New library book acquisition. Love this author, Friedrich Bachman, Bear Town. One of my favorites. This is The Winners, which I believe is going to have the same characters as Bear Town, or maybe it's set in the same town. Anyway, it looks good. This author, I love the way he writes. His writing is a little slow, but the end of each chapter is always a bit of a cliffhanger that keeps you moving forward. And then the character development in his books is always really good, and the story ends up really coming full circle. I've always enjoyed them. A Man Called Uva is another one I really love. I have not read Anxious People. I might have to give that a read after this. It's not pretty. Yeah, I could have stayed in there a lot longer. Well, that's always my story. I knew going in there though, that if I was running out of time, I would just go over and grab a Friedrich Bachmann book because the last time I was in there, I saw that and I thought, hmm, maybe I'll get that. So yeah, I did end up kind of pressed for time in there. So I went ahead and grabbed that, but I look forward to reading that. Let me know if you've read it. I know a lot of you guys have mentioned that you like Friedrich Bachmann as well. In addition to that horrible coffee that we had this morning, I got a few other things from iHerb, namely popcorn. I adore popcorn. And this is a popcorn I normally buy, the Eden popcorn. It's really good. Uh, but I saw iHerb got in a bunch of stuff from Amish country, and they have these different types of popcorn. I was really intrigued by mushroom. This looks really cool. The popcorn itself. Ladyfinger, look forward to trying that. Maybe they're gonna be real delicate, mini. And then extra large, as in for making caramel type. I love popcorn, it's like one of my favorite snacks. This is what I make my popcorn in, in the microwave. It is so easy, you just put the kernels in there. I usually do like three tablespoons. Uh, and I put it in the microwave, I set the microwave to five minutes. Then once the time between pops, slows down to where it's like, okay, all right, I better turn it off. It's just kind of a hunch. Then I then I turn it off. It, I, it doesn't burn the popcorn. It comes out perfectly. It really pops like 98, 99% of the kernels. There's not a bunch of stuff left over. Really efficient, easy. You don't have to mess with those weird microwave popcorn bags. I, I use this several times a week. Whenever, whenever I feel like having popcorn, this is what I use. I've had it for years. I got it on the Amazonian. One of the best purchases I've ever made on Amazon. Another thing though that I buy from iHerb, speaking of popcorn, this is what I like putting on my popcorn. This miso nooch, nooch, nooch. It, it's like an umami seasoning made from chickpeas instead of soybean. So miso is like fermented soybean, I believe. 
this is chickpea instead. Uh, regardless, it's really good. It's an umami flavor, sort of savory. It's really good on popcorn, vegetables. I've rather been enjoying this. Wilderness Poets, as a side note, is a really good company. Everything I've purchased from them, I've been really happy. I get, I get all of this stuff on iHerb, except this I got from the Amazonian. Well, hey guys. You guessed it. You guessed it. I know you guessed it. I, I just got out of the shower. Woohoo! And to my face, we are coming on with the home stretch here, y'all. I've been doing the Bifida Biome Complex Ampule to my face every night since uh, the end of de December. And we're about to this point. And I mentioned this in last weekend's vlog. Uh, I think I'm kind of starting to see a little bit of a of a smoothing effect with this for sure. I've, I've noticed it over the past few weeks. Not a smoothing, but like an overall smoothing of complexion, just a, kind of a brightness, a hydration. But I also have to give a huge shout out to this La Roche Posay Cicaplast Glycerin Gel that I've been putting around my eyes. I really think this is making a visible difference in the appearance of my under eye area for sure, just by hydrating and protecting, it's really been amazing. Above and beyond petroleum jelly, which I typically use, speaking of which, to my feet, the the goat, if you will. Yeah, look at how much of this. I'm, I'm almost down to the bottom. The great thing about petroleum jelly is that even when it's empty, there's always, there's always a little something you can pick at <laughs> to put on your lips or you know here on your nose if your nose gets raw i mean it's the gift that keeps giving this this guy it's just so many uses i've just been doing tretinoin on top of the manio ampule once it absorbs then after tretinoin i come in with a little bit of moisturizer so there's that the the gel around my eyes, I put that on after I put the, so I put the ampule, I put the gel, and then I do tretinoin to my face. And of course, the backs of my hands. That's basically been my nighttime routine for this year so far, although this is a new addition as of a few weeks. You know, I've been doing this for a few weeks. My one gripe with this is that this tube is just tiny, but you don't need very much for using around the eyes. So that that's good. But yeah, I've been really impressed with that. And almost to the end of this uh, oil and gel cleanser from Elta MD, I've been using this to take off my, you know, to do my first step in my double cleanse. And then in the shower, I've been washing my face with the CeraVe Hydrating Foaming Cleanser, Oil Cleanser, Foaming Oil Cleanser um, as the second step. So that's been my nighttime routine. And then tonight, I came in again with this L'Oreal Everpure Simply Clean Elastic Fiber Mask. I've been doing this um, to my hair of several nights a week, and it is luxurious hate the jar packaging because it's hard to navigate in the shower with this like like you get you open it you scoop and then you've got the scoop in your hand in the shower you know I turn the shower off to do all this but it's like then you gotta it's hard to maneuver all this it's hard and then you know I try and put the jar lid on real tight so when you're in the shower it's like oh how do I get that it's 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 a lot but it is worth it I've just found that this product is really really nice it's like the name implies it's kind of got an elasticy almost snail mucin-esque do you see the strings texture to it and i mentioned this in last weekend's vlog there's really no scent to this it's not you know fragranced but it's not fragrance free it has rosemary essential oil in it i believe it has rosemary leaf oil in it and you can kind of smell that if you you know put it up close but it's not it's not gonna leave your hair smelling any type of way anyway y'all i hope you're having a great weekend i'm gonna wrap this vlog up here but if you liked it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye